Hi, welcome to Simply NAS Media. My name is Sam, and today we have the QNAP TS831X. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to unboxing this one. Now you'll notice on the very top here, you have the two lock tabs. So we'll just go ahead and pull those out. Go ahead and stand the box up here, turn it on the side. Of course you have the top flap, the retainer flap, and these two other extra retainer flaps. And at the very top you'll see you have the accessories package and the securing foam, and then inside you have the device as well. Pull this out, set that aside for later. Also got the power cable for the unit. Set this aside for a moment. And inside you'll notice you have the unit itself. Now, keeping safety in mind here, We'll go ahead and lay this box over, putting the hand, putting your hand on the unit to keep it from moving, and then rolling the box over, letting the NAS very gently slide to the table. Then we can pick up the box, exposing the NAS. Now, if you'll give me a moment here, I'll go ahead and unwrap this one, and I'll be right back. All right, now that we have the unit unpackaged, the first thing that you'll notice, this unit looks very similar to the 853A. Still an 8-bay unit, uh, but there are some differences that we'll discuss later on in a completely different video. Um, of course, you'll have your power button, your one-touch copy. Uh, no, you'll also notice up here there's no normal buttons, but you have your LED indicators. Of course, eight drive trays. Same functions, just pull up and then pull out, then you can reinsert, push the tab back down, and it locks. Now on the back of the unit, it is a little bit different. You'll notice that this one is much more enterprise based or business based. Um, it doesn't have the HDMI ports like some of the other units have, uh, but this is mostly because it's meant for functionality. So you'll notice that over here you have the two SFP Plus ports. This is a card here that will actually allow you to add the, uh, the 10 gig internet ports as well, or ethernet ports, excuse me. Uh, then you'll have your standard, your twin 1 gig ethernet ports. You'll have your two USBs, and of course your power port up here, plus your two cooling fans and your extra fan as well. So now that we've covered the features of the unit itself externally, let's take a moment to flip this around and we'll talk about the accessories box itself. Alright, now going over the contents of the accessories pack, pretty simple, just a smaller box, flip up the flap here, and inside, have some of the components here for the, the box, you'll have your, your quick install guide, you'll have the screw pack to install the drives into the drive trays, then you'll have two ethernet cords to plug the device into your network. Okay, so now that we've covered the components of the accessories pack, let's talk a little bit about the unit itself. Now, this particular one is actually capable of using up to 16 gigs of RAM. It also has the 1.4 gigahertz um, Annapurna uh, processor. Um, it is also capable of virtual JBOD, meaning this particular unit can actually be expanded to any other QNAP NAS within the network. Um, it also has private cloud capability, and it's expandable out to 24 drives if you choose to use uh, two of the UX800 uh, expansion units. And that about wraps up the features of this video for this time. Definitely stay tuned for the next video when we, when we do the comparison of the 831X versus the 853A. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. Uh, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date with any of the latest and greatest videos that we put on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you have any other questions, go ahead and email us at sales at simplynas.com or give us a call at 407-960-4690. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.